from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field. The show brings you Major League Baseball on a Saturday night. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab in this one, Joey Cantillo. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. That misses well, the zone, cool. and it's 2-1. and one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One down. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss on the ground right side whips it to first two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight and now we take a look at the Rangers lineup someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs Travis Jankowski well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Toss to Miller. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers. And now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Back now at Progressive Field. And on the mound now, Nathan Evaldi. What's the scouting report on him? Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Try to bunt his way on. Boots it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. That's a fun way for them to start the game on offense. And thanks to a little small ball, they produce a base runner right away. And we'll see if this is part of the game plan for them today or if they just took advantage of an early opportunity. Here's Lane Thomas. And the righty deals. That one nope. a little bit high, and it's two and one. Two one. Rudder takes off, and that one ripped into right, and that's just foul. Ground ball right side could be two. Fires over to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at our lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Stephen Kwan. And boom, he's the table setter for this offense. Team leader and on-base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score, man. I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game after game, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. The pitch. That one off the mark, ball two. 
One out and a runner at second. Next offering is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The pitch. That's to third. Slings to first, and Ramirez is set down. Batting four. The designated hitter. Next for the Guardians is the designated hitter, David Fry. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. First frame of the night behind us, and it's nothing, nothing. Here in Cleveland, now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia. And a pitch. Foul ball there. And now the lefty. Ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Hard hit, right side. Jimenez oh. throw to first. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And a ground ball to first. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down in the top of the second. That is good. The third baseman, number six, Josh Young. Here's Josh Young. Two out spaces empty. And that one fouled off. The one, two. And another ball. And there's a ball. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. One, two, three. Go the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. the second and now it's Josh Naylor the first baseman the 1-1 one, one. next offering is outside two and one the count now he hasn't seen a fastball yet but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count 
wouldn't Ray chase ball. that time. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance Eight. to go out and have success. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Swings and misses. Struck him out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. So up next, John Kenzie Noel. Out of line, out towards center. Tavares hauls it in, and there's two away. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Here's Andres Jimenez. Two down, nobody on. Good eye right there. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Riding to the plate. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. We'll move to the third with no score. Stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. At the belt and fires. That one not close. Two and one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back there. Bangs off the wall. Around second now as they still don't have it. Now around third, waving him home. The relay throw. And he's out at the ditch. He was all in it on that one. Man, he almost made it. So much energy expended on that one, but a really nice relay all the way to the plate. The tag gets put down. That's a tough one to swallow for the offense. Now the DH spot, Travis Jankowski. And a 1-1. Late on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. And this is inside. Top of the third, no score. And yeah, there's ball four. Here's Leody Tavares. Two one. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. And he deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Strike three. Got 
got him looking on the changeup. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Ball to strike. Up the middle. And there's a hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. one nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Two outs, runner at first. So now it's Corey Seager. Next offering upstairs. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Snap throw to first. Simeon gets back easily. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. That misses. And a count two and one. That one found hard the other way. Swing and a base hit. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. That's three singles in a row. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Two gone with runners at the corners. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Pitch oh, misses right there. there. Two balls and a strike. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And a foul ball. Seeger on third. Heim at first. Two out of the inning. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rangers two and the Guardians nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. The third baseman, Tyler. 1-1 one, one now. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Austin Hedges now. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Two down, nobody on. And that's off inside. the inside edge. Now two balls and a strike. Hey. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. 
and the inning is over. Guardians go down one, two, three, and they're down two nothing. Out of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. And a pitch. In for a strike. And a count one, one and two. Ball. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Ball. And track. another ball. In the air, right side. Noel calls it in, and there's one away. You think back to 2017 and Cleveland set a major league record 22 consecutive wins they had it was capped off with a 10 inning walk off win pretty amazing streak in a big part of the history of this yard on the ground and foul ball. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, well, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Two outs. Space is empty. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. Two outs. Out towards right center field. Noel racing over to make the catch. Ready to go, bottom four at the play. Lane Thomas. The center fielder. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Now this is in the air down the line. Lankford makes the catch, and there's one gone. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Now, Boog, I just love watching Ramirez play the game. He can swing it from both sides of the plate. He's elite with the bat, and he's honestly one of the least talked about superstars in the sport. And there's a foul ball. The Rangers up by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's downstairs and outside. Just off the inside corner for countdown. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Up with it, fires to first. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Drive base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's Josh Naylor. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball.
Fry leads off first with two down to the inning. Ivaldi checks the runner oh, and he dives back in safely. And a one two. Three. Got it by him for the K. One left for the Guardians. They trail things here to nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in is the speedy Travis Jankowski. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Left hand hitter waits. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Fouls it back with two strikes. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Stayed with the fastball and all three pitches to put him away. Yeah, just straight attacked him. And those locations of the fastball is what really stood out to me, Book Started him inside, really good location. Then he went away for strike two going kind of east-west and then finishes him off up in the zone with some good velocity. That's just great execution. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back now at Progressive Field. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the right fielder, John Kenzie Noel. And here it comes. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. And now Andres Jimenez. Left-hand batter waits. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Another one, two. And that one is inside. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Tyler Freeman now at the plate. Rips one to right, and that's just foul. The Guardians down by a pair, last half of inning number five. 
on the ground to the left. And a base hit right there. Around first, digging for two. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Guardians go down in order. A new arm into the game, the righty, Tanner Bybee. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now it's Corey Seager. The wind of the pitch. Got hey. the bat going too soon. It's strike One two. Ball. Two strikes. Right hander kicks deals. The shortstop ball takes two. the ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim. Hammered on a line at a left base hit. Headed for the plate. He scores. It's three zip. Picks himself up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And now, Adolis Garcia. Right-handed reliever. Fights it off, he'll see another. Here comes a pitch. That That's one at 95 missed up top. Two and two. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Tim Heron appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Number 36 getting loose as well. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Swings and misses. One and two. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. That one, 95 to finish him off. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Two outs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now it's going to be Wyatt Lankford to third. Tag got it. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the sixth inning, Austin Hedges stands in. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away, bottom of the sixth. 
Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Steven Kwan digs in now. The wind and the pitch. That yep, just that misses. And now three and one. Three one, one and he couldn't come up with it. Perfect. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. One gone runner at first. Now the number two hitter, Lane Thomas. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. In the dirt, blocked. To second, but way too late, safe there. And now, a man into scoring position. Well, that's part of the risk when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt. Even as good as catchers are these days at blocking pitches, that one just got away enough, and that takes the double play opportunity away for now. The pitch. That one fouled off two and two. One out, the runner at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Got him swinging on the curveball, and there's two away. Here's Jose Ramirez. For me, Boo, Ramirez has been the heart and soul of Cleveland baseball for a few years now. When his career is over, he's going to be considered one of the best players to ever play for this franchise. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Guardians leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Tim Heron. The southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. The left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. And a pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Under this one. And there's one away. The batter, the designated hitter, Travis Jankowski. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. He's safe on with a bunt single. Man at first, Leody Tavares getting ready to hit. Jankowski on the run. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Payoff pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Thomas snags it. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here is Marcus Simeon. Jankowski, the runner at first with two gone.
The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Jimenez throws to first, and that is that. One left for Texas, but they lead it 3-0. And we're back digging in David Fry. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. Out to center. Makes the grab one down. Now back. The first baseman. And up next for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. The Rangers leading by three. Here, the bottom of the seven. Righty delivers. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Two down, nobody on. That's ball two. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Kirby Yates, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Chafin, the lefty, warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. The Guardians go down in order. They trail it here, three nothing. Here in Cleveland, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the play, Corey Seager. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. He goes down looking. Well, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. One down, base is empty. Two one. Close, nope, but called a ball, and that's ball three. And he walked him. The batter, the right fielder. A Runner Dolis. on at first with one gone. Garcia. And now here is Adolis Garcia. Heim leads off first with one away. Next hey. offering in there for a strike. And a count one, one and two. two Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. Two out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Freeman puts it away, and that'll do it. Rangers leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing.
Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, David Robertson. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year, so this should be fun to watch. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. The second baseman. Andres Jimenez. The 1-1. Just missed. You know, these Guardians just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating ball moments. Break. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Kicks and deals. That's in there. Three and two now. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. So digging in, Tyler Freeman. And that's a little bit high. And a count two and one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Kicks and fires. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The 3-1. Two low oh. ball four, and he's walked another. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found now a way to score yet, Hedges. but now's their chance to change that. Now the catcher Hedges. up to hit. Austin Hedges. With the tying run at the plate, here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. The tying run at the plate. Outside. The count now two and two. Strike three, got him swinging. And that is a big first out. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Tying run at the plate. And it is two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. At the belt and fires. Good eye in that spot. Lane Thomas on deck for the Guardians. Two on, one out. Towards first, low. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Boo, that's a good at bat simply because they found a way to move both runners up a base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. Andrew Chafin enters the game. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Stepping up for the Guardians, Lane Thomas. The pitch. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. But he's 
base hit. One run is in. The throw home. And he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. So one run on one hit. No errors, and a runner left. Through eight full, it's the Rangers three, and the Guardians one. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 36. He's doing the ball very well overall this season. He's been really tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. So digging in, Josh Young. And the right hander deals on the ground. Jimenez. The throw to first. And a quick out number one. Up next for the Rangers. The left fielder. Wyatt. Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. Here's a 1 1. Just missed. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. One down, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop. And he'll just eat it. That's an infield single. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Now at the plate, Travis Jankowski. Right through there for a strike. Lankford leads off first with one away. Runner on the goal. Come on and miss. Throw. Save. Hedges too late. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man. He really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Now the batter now, Leody Tavares. That one drilled left field. Juan makes the grab, and that's the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Hard of the order, 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rangers three, and the Guardians one. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Kirby Yates. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. Not shortstop. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. The one-two. That one lifted to left on the move. And out number one on the grab. The batter, number six. And now the DH, David Fry. The pitch. That's ball three. Three balls, one strike. Inside ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Number 18, number 22. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. And things could change quickly here with one swing. The Rangers trying to close out a two-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. A little bit high. Yeah, that's ball two.
tying run at the plate. And another ball. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Booth. John Kenzie Noel in the on deck circle. And a 3 1 on the way. Ball four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. So the tying run at second. In the air of the infield. And the infield fly is called. The bat. The second baseman. Last out for the Guardians in this one. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. There's a line drive to left field. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3 1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.